dear viewers, assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Hijab and Etiquette. Today, inshallah, we're going to be discussing World Hijab Day, um, a day that has become quite popular and well known in the last few years. Joining me as ever is Sister Masum Majafa. How are you, Sister? Salamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, alhamdulillah, thank you. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. So, um, Basically, with our topic of World Hijab Day, what do you personally think about it? Do you think it's a good way of expressing and explaining the hijab to non-Muslims? I think it's an amazing initiative. I think um, not only the actual day itself, but how it came about, there's a huge lesson to be learned from that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if your viewers know the background but can I sort of just go into the background a little of bit? Of course, yes. Yeah, so there was a, a, a girl called Nazma Khan I think her name was. She came to this country, uh, she came um, to America, to the West um, at the age of 11 mm -hmm. not knowing very much English, not knowing very much about the Western culture and so forth um, and she she says that she was she felt very alone um, she was very much picked on she wore the hijab and you know people didn't understand it they didn't obviously uh, try to understand it and all her um, schoolmates um, would pick on her spit on her abuse her try to pull off her hijab um, and you know she had a lot of negative um, experiences from wearing the hijab what I think is amazing from it is that nowhere in her story does she talk about taking it off mm -hmm. um, or letting the bullies win. Mm -hmm. um, she goes on to say that uh, when she left school, when, you know, she, she did really well in school and high school and so forth, um, and she started um, some sort of internet um, forum for hijabis on um, how to wear hijabi clothes, mm -hmm. fashionable hijabi clothes and mm -hmm. so forth, and she got a lot of um, emails talking about other people who had negative um, experiences in wearing hijab um, in different parts of the world, not only in the West, but in different parts of the world. And she thought to herself, there must be something that I can do. And I mm -hmm. think that's amazing, you know, not mm -hmm. to sort of be the victim, but actually sort of stand up and say, there, is, there must be something I can do. Mm -hmm. And she came up with this idea of World Hijab Day, because mm -hmm. her, her thinking was, if people can wear the hijab for one day and just step into my shoes, then one, it'll make them realize what I go through on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Two, it opens up conversations. Um, a lot of bullying, a lot of intolerance happens because of lack of understanding, mm -hmm. because something is so different to what you know uh, and what you're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. So what she was doing is trying to normalize the hijab. Mm -hmm. And I, th I think it's beautiful. I think there's so many lessons we can learn from, mm -hmm. from the sister in you know, how to sort of stand up for myself, how to not be a victim, how to, you know, do something that will not only help me, but help others who are in the same situation. Mm -hmm. And then obviously the initiative, you know, is amazing because it's getting, you know, Muslims who don't normally wear the hijab to try it for a day, non-Muslims who've never worn the hijab to try it for a day, mm -hmm. um, whether they're Christians, Jews, Hindus, Sikhs, atheists, whatever religion or no religion, it doesn't matter. It's just put it on for a day, and just you know live the way I live for a day and, and just experience it and then let's talk yeah yeah that's incredible I didn't incredible. know how that was set up that subhanallah like thank you so much for sharing that with us mm -hmm. um yeah it's it's amazing the fact that it's showing non-muslims that you know we're not that much different and like just because we wear a scarf on our head and you rather wear it around your neck you know it doesn't make us that much different and when you do step into our shoes you can understand like why we're protective over it and why also like we deserve to be looked out for and protected by you know fellow women men and women in mm -hmm. society i suppose though one thing with world hijab day is you know you might have some people turn around and say oh but we should be doing more than just having a dedicated day where we talk about the hijab uh, can you sympathize with that point of view yes i think um as hijabis i think we should constantly be doing more mm -hmm. i think we you know we should open ourselves uh, up to um inviting conversations about mm -hmm. my hijab about my religion about who I am and why I choose to be who I am. Mm -hmm. um, just, you know, 
also not it's not just about conversation starters but it's about my akhlaq mm -hmm. again i think it's important to realize that when i put on the hijab i'm a symbol of what islam is yes. people look at me and decide this is what islam teaches mm -hmm. now if i'm not gonna be a very good ambassador for islam then and people turn away from Islam because of me, then mm. I'm going to be held accountable for that. Yes. And again, that's not an excuse not to wear hijab. <laughs> so I can't say, oh, I'm not going to wear hijab because you know what, I'm not ready to be an ambassador for Islam. Because yes, everyone is ready to be an ambassador of Islam. It's, it's you know, understanding that the hijab actually makes you want to be a better person, mm -hmm. makes you want to be a better human being, mm -hmm. uh, a better slave of Allah, a better, yes. a better Muslim, you know. Mm -hmm. So it, I, I remember my children used to actually tell me that, you know, uh, my daughter once told me that wearing the hijab actually is, is, is so amazing because it just constantly reminds her of Allah. Yes. And it const you know, and, mm. and there are certain things that she would never think of doing because she wears the hijab and therefore yes. she said to her brother once I remember she said it's it's so much easier for me to stay away from certain sins because of my hijab and I'm so lucky that God's given me that yeah and it's such a beautiful way of looking at it it is a really lovely way of thinking about it like I, I know it myself you know the I've been tempted to go in places before you know which aren't appropriate for a Muslim to go into and literally the thing that has stopped me is just like you know feeling that scarf on my head and just like no like I've been given this responsibility by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to you know be an ambassador and flag bearer of Islam yeah, it's really important mm -hmm. I think I think and you know when people like I keep saying when people look at me they're not going to look at oh Masma did this or Masma didn't do this mm -hmm. it's like oh a hijabi did this a Muslim yes. woman did this a Muslim woman didn't do that mm -hmm. so it's really important that we stand up for what is right and you know stand against what's wrong you know and, and sort of ensure that we're actually showing what Islam is about and actually living Islam mm -hmm. rather than just superficially just wearing the clothes of Islam yeah yeah exactly I mean how many sisters you know they wear the hijab and their hijab is perfect but unfortunately you know inwardly their character you know it's just not good they're you know they're being unjust and unfair to people now of course, um, with the growing popularity of World Hijab Day, unfortunately, there has been a sort of response to that with the idea of no hijab day. And it's, um, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was the idea of like an ex-Muslim woman yeah. Yeah, who um, wants to encourage sisters to stop wearing the hijab and to be free and liberated as such. and. Um, the thing that interested me with this in particular was the fact that, you know, there were some hijabi sisters who love wearing the hijab and wear it every single day. Even they were taking off their scarves and posting selfies online in solidarity with these sisters that had done that. And, you know, I, we laugh about it, but it's, it's, inc it's incredibly, incredibly saddening, it's definitely. Sad. I mean, how do we respond to I such an attack? Again, I think it's it's lack of understanding, mm -hmm. and it you know you quite you feel very sad for these people, yeah. um, especially for the sister who's initiated it. Mm. Um, obviously, her experience of the way that she wore the hijab, if she ever did, mm -hmm. was not the correct way. Um, mm. You know, she was she never actually, I don't think she actually ever understood what hijab was. Yeah. Um, and I think um, it, it, it's 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 funny because it's like. You know, the Nazma Khan started World Hijab Day on the 1st of February, and, you know, officially making that World Hijab Day. And you have 140 countries who have signed up for it. And, you know, it's happening all over the world. It's, you know, it's, it's amazing. And I think whenever you have something amazing happening, there'll always be someone who wants to put the spanner in the works and try to stop that amazing yeah. thing. Um, and it's just a matter of, I know what it feels like not to wear hijab. Mm -hmm. I don't wear hijab in my house. I don't wear hijab when I'm with women. Mm -hmm. So it's not something that I don't know what it feels like. The, the idea of hijab, World Hijab Day is so that I can empathize what it feels like to wear hijab, mm -hmm. which I would not normally as a non-Muslim or as a Muslim who doesn't wear hijab. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a lot of the times, for example, a Muslim who doesn't wear hijab may put it on for that one day and think, hang on a minute, this isn't that difficult. You know, yeah. I, I made it bigger in my head than it really is. Maybe yeah. I can do this. And, and it'll give her that push to actually start wearing all the time. For non-Muslims, it, you know, it may actually get them to question um, what it is about the hijab, make them feel 
a little bit of what we feel, that confidence that we feel, that closeness to Allah that we feel. Mm -hmm. um, and even if they don't feel that, it's just sort of going about in your day-to-day -day life, wearing something that is different mm -hmm. and maybe getting a few stares and realizing, hang on a minute, why are people staring at me? Yeah. You know, it's why, what, why do they have to look at me just because I'm dressed a little bit different? Yeah. And just changing that mentality and, and making them also realize that they're still the same person, although they're dressed differently. Yes. Um, I think, again, you know, in the not so much now, but even now you still have it, but not so much. Um, before, when I used to go out um, and be introduced, um, automatically, the minute, you know, some people see you in hijab, they automatically think that you're a little bit slow or you, you haven't, mm. you're not educated or mm. you don't know how to speak the language. And, mm. and I, I, you know, because I've studied dentistry and I'm a qualified dentist, so I can oh use the word Allah. doctor. Yeah. So I, I don't work as a dentist anymore, but mm. I know when I used to go into these environments, I would actually introduce myself as Dr. Masana Jaffa just to mm. sort of let them know, hang on a minute, I am educated. I have been to university. Mm -hmm. I'm like you, I'm normal. Yeah. You know, it's just a piece of clothing that yeah. you're, you're, you're sort of, making a huge assumption on the person I am because of the way that I'm dressed. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 so, it's so crazy. Mm. And then this concept of no hijab day, it's like, what next? No salah day? So you're going to tell me to stop praying for a whole day? Are you going to? That's a fair point, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and when it, I don't know, like no Ramadan month or something. Yeah. Who, who knows, honestly? <laughs> no sense whatsoever. <laughs> you know, it's like you can see the thinking of Nazma Khan when she initiated mm. World Hijab Day. Where is the thinking behind no World Hijab Day? It, 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 it makes no sense. It, it shows it's just a reaction to a negative experience that someone has had as a child and they mm. want to now move past that by doing something so crazy. Yeah, absolutely. The way that we present hijab to the world is the most important thing because I remember as a non-Muslim, the first ever lecture I listened to about hijab, it was talking about the fact that if an uncovered woman goes out in public and a man looks at her, then she carries the sin of that man as well and I was just like oh my god and really? it was just it was like fire and brimstones and I was just like so he's not responsible at all no no no, no no it's always the woman's fault you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was just like it's like you're pushing us in a corner and you're with like I don't know like with some fire and you're just like you know if you don't do this you're going to hell but I think that's the sad part mm. I think a lot of the times um hijab the, the physical hijab of the clothing is talked to girls from um, the perspective of a man telling them mm -hmm. or a mother or, or someone else telling them who resents wearing it and mm. wears it because she feels she has to rather than wearing it out of love and passion and understanding. Yes. I think that's where we go wrong. Absolutely, yes. And it's amazing that like just such a small thing of a non-Muslim putting a scarf on their head for the day, like how much it could potentially change them. You know, it goes back to what our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Ali said that, you know, just an hour of reflection is equivalent to 70 years of worship. Mm -hmm. And when we think deeply about these things, like we see that actually like so many of our thoughts are just irrational and detrimental almost. Yeah, for sure. And then I, I don't think a lot of the times we're even aware of what our thoughts are. No. You know, it's like our mind's just taken over and it just, mm. you know, we have a lot of negative thoughts going on and on in our mind. And mm -hmm. something as positive as hijab can actually just, just get you to question why someone would wear that, why they would, you know, choose to do this. And mm -hmm. it's beautiful and it's, even if it doesn't get you to question I think that you know building that sort of solidarity and that unity amongst human beings is mm -hmm. really really powerful mm -hmm. it's like you know what I'm not going to wear it I don't agree with it but I'm going to try it out just to show you that I'm with you mm -hmm. and, and, it, and that's beautiful I yes. think that's really really beautiful because it's not that we're telling them to do something that is against their values and their principles mm -hmm. it's you know it's doing something that is just you know what just going to stand side by side with you for a day mm -hmm. and I think that's really amazing and I think you know if we as human beings can come together then imagine what an amazing world this would be oh subhanallah that would just be incredible wouldn't it um, I'm really sorry sister we're going to have to end it there but once again thank you so much for this wonderful discussion 
Um, up next, my dear viewers, will be answering your fit questions regarding the Salah, inshallah. 